One of the best platformers on the N64 was Banjo-Kazooie. Like a lot of 3D platformers during that time period, it took inspiration from Super Mario 64, but it put its own unique charm to the formula with its witty dialogue, memorable characters, and music that is so good that it's forever burned into my skull. And while the series at this point has pretty much fallen off the face of the earth, I'll forever look back at it as a truly amazing game. But this truly amazing game actually had quite an interesting backstory before we got the final product, as before it ever made its way to the N64, it began life as a Super Nintendo game. An RPG no less. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. So today on Gaming Mysteries, I'll be talking about Project Dream and the beta of Banjo-Kazooie. Before we go any further though, I should say that there is no footage at all of Project Dream. None. There's a single picture, and that's about it, aside from some other little other pictures. So, you'll have to put up with some random Banjo-Kazooie gameplay I recorded, as... What the hell else am I supposed to show you? This picture for the whole video? I think not. Well, I mean, I did think about doing that to be a dick, but... I'm not gonna do it now. I don't feel like it, so we're just gonna go with the footage. Go with my gut. Now Banjo-Kazooie started off as a different game called Project Dream, which was to be an RPG for the Super Nintendo. It would follow a young man named Edison who caused trouble with some pirates led by a man named Captain Black Eye. And although it's not known exactly what would have gone down in the story, it's assumed that it would have involved Edison trying to end his troubles with the pirates. And considering it's an RPG, probably would have had to fight some effeminate douche at some point. He'd be the final boss. As I said though, there's no footage of Project Dream in any form, but from what I read in a quote, when a demo of it was running on the Super Nintendo, people were blown away as it was beautiful. And it was supposed to be a big step up from Donkey Kong Country, this suggesting that they were going with a more advanced but similar graphical style than the one used in Donkey Kong Country. Of course, we never saw this allegedly beautiful game as was never released. Reason being that it was considered to be too big for the Super Nintendo and it was taking a long time to develop. So they then decided to move the project over to the N64 to make a large scale 3D RPG. Something the N64 desperately needed. It had like, what? Two and a half RPGs? And I don't count Quest 64 because... No! The game was to be massive and ambitious, making use of an unconventional terrain system that would allow them to create amazing looking landscapes that hadn't been seen before. Unfortunately, the N64 didn't have enough power to run this at a decent frame rate, so the team struggled to make it work. While doing so, they saw what the Conquer team was doing, as they were currently working on Conquer 12 Tales, a drastically different version of Conquer that we didn't get. And for the people who have asked, yes, I'm going to talk about that eventually, it's on my to-do list, not right now. Anywho, the Project Dream team saw what the Conquer team was doing, and what they were doing was taking a much safer approach, going by the Super Mario 64 standard formula thing. Seeing that this looked pretty good, the team went back to the drawing board and went with that method, and suddenly the game started to run great. But it was at this time that some were upset about the concept of a boy hero, and they decided they should change it to an animal. I've read that the first animal they went with was a rabbit, but then I also read that the first animal they went with was a bear. Damn you, internet, you liar! Either way, they made their way to the bear eventually, and this was the birth of the banjo that we all know and love. <sighs> eventually, they gave the bear a backpack and kazooie, because that's what you do with birds put them in backpacks. That's what I do. But there was concerns about the project's overall direction. I'm assuming these concerns are regarding the RPG aspect of the game, even though a bear RPG would be pretty fucking cool. But this led to the transformation of the project, turning it into what we now know as Banjo-Kazooie, which is a platformer. You guys know. And I guess from their perspective, this makes a lot of sense, as the company did have experience with platformers with games like Donkey Kong Country under their belt. And I suppose it goes without saying that this shift in design certainly worked out for them, as people loved them some Banjo-Kazooie. But even so, every time I find out that the N64 was going to have an RPG, but then it got cancelled for some blank reason, a part of me dies. I hope you know that. 
Getting back on track though, kinda, even though the game turned out completely different from what it was originally intended to be, certain aspects from Project Dream made their way into Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. Most notably, we have Banjo, who in Project Dream was just going to be a secondary character, but he ended up being the main character in his very own game. You know the one. And the other one. And that other one that no one wants to acknowledge. Vroom vroom. And Banjo-Tooie, Captain Black Eye, the bad guy from Project Dream, can be found in Jolly Roger's Tavern, getting plastered. What's cool about his appearance in the game, aside from the fact that he's getting plastered and that he was in Project Dream, is that he actually references Project Dream, saying that he once had a dream and that a bear stole his glory. So, the dream was Project Dream and the bear was Banjo. Very nice reference. I, I applaud that. You can't see me applauding because I'm not actually applauding, but imagine I'm applauding. I'm a Good job. Kazooie was also going to be in Project Dream, though she was only going to appear as a baby bird. Even so, it's neat. Tootie was also originally going to be in Project Dream. And in Project Dream, she was going to be Banjo's girlfriend, which, knowing the things that I know now about bloodlines... That's icky. Hell, even Grunty was going to be in Project Dream. Granted, she was going to be a giant. Even so, it's fascinating that they took elements from Project Dream and retooled them for Banjo-Kazooie. But that's all there really is to Project Dream, as there's not a vast amount of info regarding it. At least as far as its RPG period is concerned, as once it entered running around as a bear mode, I count that as just an early version of Banjo-Kazooie. So, let's go ahead and look at an early version of Banjo-Kazooie. Now upon looking at some beta footage of Banjo-Kazooie, there are noticeable differences with the appearance of areas, the first one for example, or characters. Mumbo, for example, looks fucking huge! Look at that big fucking head, it's like... Modoc or some shit. And the Jinjos are huge too. Hell, even certain objects and the little huts, they're larger than normal as well. Someone went nuts with that shit. Tone it down a little, man. Mumbo's big ass head is it's creeping me out. There also appears to be some unused enemies, though I'm more fixated on Mumbo's head. Scary. Speaking of creepy heads, though, it's not actually about heads, but I'm trying to segue here. And I'm going to slow this footage down just so you guys can sink it in. In the beta version, when Banjo gets a Jiggy, he loses his shit. Look at him! He's so fucking stoked, like some five-year-old who's just been injected with sugar. And cocaine. They should have kept that. It's dumb, but I like dumb. Dumb, I like dumb. Speaking of losing shit, though, in this trailer, it appears as though Banjo would have been able to take off flying at any time instead of having to use one of those flying pad thingies. It's said that there was originally going to be 16 levels in Banjo-Kazooie, though numerous ones were omitted due to time constraints. One such level being Mount Fire Eyes, and I'm going to go off on a limb here and guess that this was going to be a fire level. I, I could be wrong, but I feel good about this one good instincts. But yes, it was omitted from the final game, though the level ended up being reused and put in Banjo-Tooie. Some other left out levels were Prickly Pear Island, which no one knows what the fuck that was going to be, and then there's Fungus Forest, another omitted level that wasn't finished due to insufficient time. Although it didn't make it into Banjo-Kazooie, they did eventually put it in Donkey Kong 64, renaming it Fungi Forest. One other interesting left out level is Giant Slayer. If you recall earlier, I said that Grunty was originally going to be a giant, and, well, this was originally going to be the hub world. Giant Slayer, I mean. Or, as far as I know, it was going to be the hub world. I also read that it was going to be the hub world for Project Dream and Banjo Kazooie. So maybe Banjo Kazooie, it was just going to be a regular level, or. A hub world. Fuck you, internet. You're screwing me up. I don't. I don't know what to think anymore with your mixed information. You don't help. But hey, I, I know it was gonna be a thing that was supposed to be in the game and involved in. Some, I don't. I don't know anything about it, but I know it was gonna be all involved with. I'm gonna stop talking.
Aside from all that stuff, there are a few little interesting tidbits left, like a left out 2D minigame and some left out music, though the one thing that everyone wants me to talk about, and this isn't necessarily related to the beta, but I'm gonna mention it because someone's gonna mention it in the comment section, so I'm just, I'm just gonna do it now. And that's stop and swap. There. I said it. Now you can't bring it up. And, uh, look, here's the thing. Uh, stop and Swap, it's its own can of worms. And I plan on talking about it in the future, because... Look at this key. Look at this ice key. You see that? That's related to Stop and Swap. I'm preparing to talk about it. I'm just not... I'm not gonna do it right now. But I wanted to mention it, so don't talk about it in the comment section. Unless you're really stoked. But yeah. MYSTERY! But that's Project Dream and some beta stuff from Banjo-Kazooie. As much as I would have liked a rare developed 3D RPG for the N64, and trust me, I want it. I still want it. I want it now. Make a Nintendo 64 game in 2013. It'd be awesome! I know it's still 2012 when I make this video, but I still want that. Sorry. I went on a tangent. I do that sometimes, but... Anyways, I'm still glad we got Banjo-Kazooie, as it's hands down one of the top 10 best games for the N64. Or top 5. It, it's, it's up there. Oh, and I'm super glad they shrunk down the size of those creepy motherfuckers. God bless you, Rare, and your shrinking technology. You make the world go round. You, you don't anymore because you're too busy waving your hands in front of the Kinect and doing whatever the fuck you do with that. But for a while, you did really good shit, so kudos to the past. Go you. Okay, I'm done talking. This has been Gaming Mysteries. Thanks for watching. Oh, hey guys, this is this is the end slate part of the video. There, we're back for a second time. Second time's the charm. I was a little awkward the first time, and I'm going to be awkward this time, but we're going to get stuff done. So, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to jump straight to the meat of what's going down here, of what I'm doing. Again, I'm running on no script. I'm not going to script any of these. Fuck that. So, what you just watched was a Gaming Mysteries, and I hope you enjoyed it. Really, I do. Really. I... My self-esteem depends on this shit, but maybe you would like to watch some other videos. Well, I have some recommendations, let me tell you. In the video section, sorry, I had to pause there just for being dramatic, you'll see two videos, and you can click on those with annotations, because I figured out how annotations worked. I feel pretty proud of myself, actually. So, one of the annotations will take you to a Gaming Mysteries on the beta of Final Fantasy 13, because I know everyone loves Final Fantasy 13, so you're going to want to see that. The other one takes you to another Gaming Mysteries, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, shit, Yuri of Wind's gone crazy. No, I haven't gone... Cr well, I'm, I'm probably already crazy, but uh, that's, not, that's not really the point. The point is, that other Gaming Mysteries, that's foreshadowing, because it's a Gaming Mysteries of Pokemon Creepy Black. Now you may, you may ask, why would I put an older video right there? Reason being is because, as I said in the Lavender Town video, in January, I'll be... Well, I, well, I didn't say I was going to do it in January in the Lavender Town video, but anyways, in January, I'll be starting my stupid creepypasta segment, which I have a name for. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you'll find out, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to be starting that in January, so I figured you'd, you'd want to see where it all began, where... Where it all got started. Where sarcasm. I made fun of shit. So there's that. So you can watch a gaming mysteries or a gaming mysteries. Endless possibilities here. I, I bring you the world. You're welcome. And uh, now we move to the bottom of the screen right here where I have that text. So you know, if you like the video, if you if you like. If you like the words that come out of my mouth and you would like to see more, maybe you like the video and you want to like it, I don't know. Or maybe you want to subscribe, I don't know, I'm not you. Uh, but that option's open. There's a button for it. I've tried to do it, but then YouTube tells me that I don't need to subscribe to myself. Well, fuck you, YouTube. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm talking to no one right now and I feel stupid, but this is all going in the video. I do not give a shit. Uh, but yeah, if you want to do that, uh... 
dropped it. Yay! Uh, but yeah, we're done. Second end slate done. We're, we're, we can only go uphill from here, you guys. Third time's the charm. So, uh, I'm gonna go, because... Oh, shit, this is going on for three minutes. Yeah, I gotta go. Bye!